let's talk a little bit more about early extension and another one of the causes and a very good and easy cure for it. Okay, well, I hope you're happy, some of you. I'm actually wearing a glove, the Bionic Glove, which if you have not tried this Bionic Glove, this is not a paid advertisement. This is by far the best glove I have ever used in golf. They cost, oh, well, maybe just about, oh, maybe a third more than a regular golf club, but it works so well, and it lasts probably five times as long as a regular golf glove and it's got these little ridges in it and it's got padding it's just they're they're a great glove if you haven't tried one i got a link in the description um and you can just go on amazon and grab one i think they're about 20 bucks okay okay so early extension what causes early extension in some of the better players. Now, I see some better players, and they're trying to, what they call, fire the right hip, right? So they fire that right hip. Well, as this comes forward, you can't help but stand up, right? And they're thinking that that is turning the hips. Well, as in with almost everything in golf, the opposite is actually true. So let me show you. So if I'm to swing and I try to bring this right hip forward, that immediately makes me stand up. I lose my spine angle, everything. So what's the opposite of that? Is actually driving this hip backwards and down. And by driving this hip, my right hip, backwards, in, and down, that drives my left hip back. And that's exactly what we want. We want that right hip down and pushing this one out that way. Uh, a lot of teachers have advocated, well, the thing is they see what's happening and then they try to make that thing happen by deliberately making that thing happen. And usually that isn't the way it goes. So as you can see, if I drive this hip down and in, this hip has to go out. Well, a lot of teachers tell you, push this hip out. Well, that is kind of a different movement and doesn't result in the same thing. Um, you know, you, you can push it out this way or that way. And, and I mean, that already hurts my hip. So don't do that. It's, it's this hip we want to pay attention to. And we don't want it coming forward. We want it going backwards and down. And what we want, ideally, is at impact, that right hip to be lower than the left hip, right? And if you watch somebody like Dustin Johnson or anybody like that, that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, their belt line is not tilted this way as they strike the ball. It's tilted that way. And they come through. And there's usually just a tiny bit of bend in this front knee, which allows them to continually... At, uh, leverage themselves away where what you don't want to do is this I mean, see i don't know if you can see it but my hip is there's like a a part where it pops i don't know if you can see that but you don't you don't want to get that pop sooner or later you're going to wear that hip out doing that so what what you really want to do is by keeping just a tiny bit of bend in this front leg, driving the right one, or driving the right hip low, you keep a little bit of forward bend 
in your posture instead of extending and having no bend in your front. So we want to maintain just a little bit, just a little bit of forward bend, right hip low, right? And then you come up and into extension. One of the coolest swings I think on tour right now is Ryan Palmer. I just love his swing. He just looks so casual. And one of the things I was noticing is as he strikes the ball, his back foot stays on the ground. And that's because his right hip is going down. He's maintaining a little angle forward bend and he's maintaining a little bit of bend in this front knee. And, and he kills the ball. I mean, it's funny how you see these guys swinging out of their shoes and he gets up there and he hits it like, you know, he's trying to baby it and yet it's past him. So it's a pretty cool swing and that's a pretty, that's a pretty important move. And what you don't want to do, if I might, is we don't want to try to violently rip the body around. If you try to do that, everything gets out of sequence and there's a real good chance you are not going to hit a good shot. It's a fairly slow movement and it takes however long it takes for your body to do it. Now, Tiger or Rory or somebody like that, they might have really fast hips, but they're also, you know, what, you know, younger than us and they've been doing it their whole lives. And to them, it's second nature, but to us, it takes time. And we just, we need to give it that time that it takes you know, uh, I played a game yesterday. It was it was rainy and we were just kind of hurrying a little bit. But the first two swings I took with the driver were just horrible, just just terrible hooks. And I realized I was just trying to to overpower everything and swing really fast and get it done. You know, and and I got to the third tee, which is a par four about 300 yards, and I thought, I just need to slow everything down. And I knocked it on the green at 300, 300 and some yards, nice and straight, you know, but because I actually slowed down, I hit it better, farther, and straighter by taking my time, right? So take your time, do the bend, right hip lower, then the left hip, that'll push it out, pushing that way. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too convoluted. Please like and please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It helps YouTube promote the channel and hopefully we can get more people like yourself hitting the ball straight and far. Thank you.